Hey everyone, Gil at CloseCallSports.com. Boy, do we have a story for you. Talk about timing. The day before the 2021 regular season begins, the U.S. District Court, Southern District of New York, has dismissed, in summary dismissal, summary judgment, Angel Hernandez discrimination against Major League Baseball. And it is a fascinating 26-page decision from Judge Otkin, but even though it's 26 pages, there are only four words in the entire document, a four-word phrase that explains the entirety for why this case was dismissed in summary judgment. Ready? Okay, here it is. The judge was talking about the collective bargaining agreement between the World Umpires Association and Major League Baseball. Now, of course, it's the MLB UA, but back in 2017, when we were talking about this case getting filed and the EEOC complaint, it was the WA. Regardless, the CBA states in part that MLB has, and here are the four words, quote, absolute and exclusive discretion in umpire hiring, promotion, and assignment. Therefore, because of those four words, absolute and exclusive discretion, the bar is so high to establish that MLB did something wrong that unless there is a smoking gun, essentially, that shows that they were racially discriminating against Hernandez or doing something else that was so over the line illegal that it would be obvious, this case is going to be dismissed. So everything that we talked about in terms of the statistics, in terms of the performances on the field, the objective criteria, none of it matters because MLB has, quote, absolute and exclusive discretion. Back in 2019, I wrote that Angel Hernandez's case is based on the premise that sports officials, we use it all the time, that, quote, objectivity and following the rules as written are more ethical and reliable activities than discretion, subjectivity, and winging it. That's why many an explanation from an umpire or referee to a coach or a player begins with, by rule and so on and so forth. And that's still true. But because the CBA says absolute and exclusive discretion, the judge said, yeah, MLB's hiring criteria, they do not have to be objective. And specifically use the phrase that they can be subjective and acknowledge that they are indeed subjective. But that's okay, even though Joe Torre admitted that he looks for leadership qualities which are not tangible and are not objective, they are subjective. The judge said, because of the CBA, you're allowed to do that. That's why CBA negotiations, contract negotiations, are so important. Because if you let a four-word phrase about absolute and exclusive discretion sneak into that language, things like this happen. In any case, I do an exercise, and we tried to do this exercise when we first talked about the case, was forget about Angel Hernandez, because he has bad PR or whatever reason you want. Forget about him as the plaintiff, and think of someone else who was also a protected characteristic who didn't get the promotion. Let's talk about perhaps Alfonso Marquez, because remember, even though he was promoted crew chief in 2020, this case was filed in 2017 when there hadn't been a minority crew chief since Richie Garcia in the late 1990s. So, so... Angel Hernandez out, Alfonso Marquez in, and his numbers, his statistics, and think again, and that's the exercise that needs to occur. But because you don't have a smoking gun here, you don't have a case. Absolute and exclusive discretion is what the CBA says, and that's what we're going to go with. One other funny footnote, which is not funny as much as it is really sad, is that MLB, remember in 2020, June 2020, MLB argued that we don't have a diversity problem. And even if we do, it's not our fault, it's minor league baseball. If the umpires that come to us, our pool is not diverse enough, it's their fault for giving us only white umpires. It's not our fault. And so therefore, when we only hire white umpires or promote them, what we're doing is we're just passing on the original sin of minor league baseball, which by the way, does not exist. And the judge said, let me discuss this a little bit. Angel Hernandez had used that fact that there weren't many minority umpires to say we need to use an exorable zero argument. And that argument basically says that you can't use the statistics on their own when you're talking about minority hiring and firing and promotions, etc. when there aren't really any minorities to begin with that are in your staff. And 
the, the precise language is, quote, zero or near zero minorities or women. And the judge actually wrote, hey, Garcia was a minority crew chief, so he can't really use that argument as much. And I'm and I'm sitting here thinking, didn't the last woman who tried to become an umpire in the major leagues sue the league and settle the, the lawsuit, sealed settlement and all that because of, and then didn't the one before her also sue the league for the same reason? And didn't the one before, and so on and so forth. Bernice Guerra, I think, was the first one to go to court, and she was the first one. Anyway, I digress. The point is that Angel Hernandez had said, yeah, we can't use statistics alone to do this. The judge said, well, Virgie Garcia, so therefore you have even though there aren't many minority crew chiefs at the at the big level, you can't use the argument. And actually, your case would be helped if there were more minorities at the big league level, which is kind of a mind blower because Angel Hernandez is saying discrimination. And the judge is saying, well, if there weren't so much discrimination from umpires being hired from the minors to the majors, then we could actually look further into your discrimination claim against Major League Baseball, which is sort of like, there's too much discrimination to look at your discrimination. We should be looking at the other discrimination that, oh, by the way, MLB says does not exist. But now that MLB owns the full pipeline of umpires from minors to majors, which they didn't back in 2017, they sort of take ownership of the discrimination problem that, again, they say does not exist. But if it does exist, it's not our fault. But again, it all comes back to the four words, absolute and exclusive discretion. And because MLB has that, the plate scores that Angel Hernandez had better plate scores than the white umpires who were promoted, doesn't matter. The replay review numbers, Angel Hernandez had better scores, doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be objective. MLB can use subjective criteria under absolute and exclusive discretion. Fielding Culberth's testimony, Fielding Culberth is a crew chief, testifying that he didn't want to apply for the crew chief possession until the league pressured him to do that, and he felt that Angel Hernandez was more qualified and should have gotten the job instead of him, doesn't matter. Ex absolute and exclusive discretion. MLB can do that. They can hire whoever they want. Joe Torre doesn't like Angel, has personal bias, doesn't matter. Absolute and exclusive discretion. As long as there is no smoking gun racial thing out there, this case was doomed for a summary dismissal simply because of the CBA's four words that MLB that gives MLB absolute and exclusive discretion to do whatever they want. And I guess that's the lesson at the end of it is we do statistical analysis all the time. We were talking about this case in the in the realm of let's actually get into the numbers and be objective about it. And the judge is saying, look, I'm going to admit, as a judge, I'm writing in my decision that I admit that I don't understand what is going on here. I'm not even kidding. The judge used the phrase, quote, the record is not entirely clear how MLB develops mid and end year season evaluations. The judge wrote, quote, the record is not transparent about the weight that Joe Torre affords the criteria he uses in promotion decisions when it was Joe Torre. The judge wrote that I don't know what's going on, essentially. But at the same time, because of the, quote, absolute and exclusive discretion, I don't have to know what's going on because unless there's a smoking gun about racially motivated discrimination, this case is dismissed on summary judgment. Kind of not good when it comes to diversity. But as long as Angel Hernandez is not umpiring in the World Series, I suppose MLB gets the win and anyone who hopes for a diverse future gets the loss. Anyway, thank you so much. Visit us at CloseCallSports.com. What are your thoughts on this case? I just thought it was fascinating that this case all hinged on a CBA provision giving MLB absolute authority to do whatever it wants, essentially. And it doesn't really matter what the stats are. It doesn't matter what the objective criteria state because MLB, by rule, so to speak, because the rule book here is the CBA, the Collective Bargaining Agreement, is allowed to do for better or worse, whatever it wants. And that's why Angel Hernandez, with the bad PR and the bad rep with the league, has not gotten the plum assignments. Visit us online at CloseCallSports.com for Twitter and Facebook at CloseCallSports. We'll see you on the site.